I'm Bobby Ryan for FCDallas.com. It will be the first visit to Livestrong Sporting Park on Saturday night as FC Dallas travels to take on Sporting Kansas City. Here's a look at the Subaru keys to the game. Well, Sporting Kansas City will be the more rested side. Their last match was at home on Saturday night against DC United. It was a 1-0 victory for Sporting Kansas City. And head coach Peter Vermes rolled out his 4-3-3 formation. Teal Bunbury is the lone striker. Underneath him is the Mexican international Omar Bravo, flanked by CJ Sapong and Kai Kamara, who scored the goal in the game for Sporting Kansas City. Well, it's been a complex and busy schedule for FC Dallas. They originally started play for CONCACAF Champions League on Wednesday night, had a 1-0 lead 45 minutes into action. That game was postponed and abandoned. The makeup match was on Thursday morning, and through 90 minutes, it was a 1-0 victory in the CONCACAF Champions League for FC Dallas. Let's take a look back on league play now for FC Dallas, which was last Saturday. A home game against the Seattle Sounders, a 1-0 defeat for Shellis Hyman and the club. It was a 4-5-1 formation for the FC Dallas boss. Danny Cruz made his first start in league action in the center of midfield. And Kevin Hartman set the all-time record for games played in Major League Soccer history with 379 games in his illustrious 15-year career. The first key to the game is to deny forward link-up. Sporting Kansas City plays with two holding central midfielders. This time it was Espinosa and Zussi. The lone central forward is Teal Bunbury. He becomes vitally important in forward link play for what Sporting looks to do. In this clip, you'll see how Teal Bunbury does well to control possession and then spark an attack for Sporting Kansas City. Roger Espinosa wins a header that Bunbury controls. He includes Kai Kamara into the attack here. His long diagonal ball finds CJ Sapong, which it's laid back for the right back Chance Myers, who picks out the run of Kai Kamara. The header attempted skims the crossbar and it all began with good forward link-up play from Teal Bunbury. The second key to the game is good team shape. Graham Zussi has had an excellent season in the center of midfield for Sporting Kansas City. On June 12th, his two goals really led the way in that 4-1 home loss for FC Dallas. In the game against DC United last Saturday night, he was a central midfield player that really generated several attacks for the home side. In this clip, you'll see him doing exactly that in one of their most promising opportunities. Zussi wins possession in midfield, and DC United has now lost their shape at the back as Sporting Kansas City pushes forward. With width created by the run of Kai Kamara, Zussi spots the run, and now they're in behind the DC United back line. An early cross nearly finds Omar Bravo, who couldn't steer it on target. DC United may have been able to avoid this chance if they had just been in a better team shape. Behind a 1-0 home victory at Livestrong Sporting Park, Sporting Kansas City moves into second place in the Eastern Conference. FC Dallas will look to bounce back in league play and remain inside the top three in the West. Kickoff for the game is at 7.30 p.m. You can catch that on Fox Sports Southwest Plus. Or for our Spanish listeners, you can tune into 1270 a.m. La Voz del Pueblo with your host, Carlos Alvarado. This is the second meeting of the season between these two sides. The first meeting was back on June 12th, a match that Sporting Kansas City won by a score of 4-1. to one. Revenge will be on the minds for FC Dallas on Saturday night. For FCDallas.com, I'm Bobby Ryan.